Good afternoon, I'm Bill Goodman. With each day since last week's devastating tornadoes roared through Kentucky, we're learning more about how people are coping, what the response has been from state, local, and federal officials, and what the next weeks and months will be like for the residents who were involved in the tragedy last Friday. Tonight at 7, 6 Central, KET will present a special report, Storm Recovery, with Governor Steve Bashir, Kentucky lawmakers from the areas hit by the tornado, Representative Adam Koenig, John Will Stacy, Senators Tom Jensen and Robert Stivers. We'll also get the latest statistics on the cleanup from General John Heltzel, director of the Kentucky's Division of Emergency Management, a representative of FEMA, the federal department in charge of assessing and placing a dollar figure on Kentucky storms, a child psychologist who will talk with us about how to talk with children about the storm, and a meteorologist who will bring us the latest on just how bad these twisters were that struck the Commonwealth. There have been a lot of heartfelt messages delivered by many people, but none more than Majority Floor Leader Rocky Adkins Monday on the House floor in Frankfurt. Here's an excerpt. Mr. Speaker, I traveled to uh, West Liberty on Friday night. And on my way to West Liberty, I stopped at uh, Elliott County High School. And I saw people being unloaded from school buses. My hometown was spared. Elliott County was spared. But many of the surrounding counties were not. There were some 300 people from West Liberty and Morgan County who came to Elliott County High School for emergency shelter. I traveled from there on to West Liberty. And Mr. Speaker, when I got to West Liberty, I couldn't believe what I saw. I was in shock. A little town 15 miles from where I grew up. Family, friends who live in that community. Beautiful little town, beautiful county. I couldn't believe that the destruction could happen the way it did in that community and others. And we've read about those other communities that were hit so tragically just around West Liberty, Morgan County, Menifee County, McGoffin County, Johnson County, Lawrence County uh, area, Chapman, Cherryville, and my district, two fatalities, same, same storm system. But Mr. Speaker, I was moved when I got to West Liberty. I was moved by the outpouring support and compassion of the people of this great commonwealth. There was four to 500 emergency responders who had already arrived in West Liberty, Kentucky. The National Guard, city police, state police, sheriffs, volunteer fire departments, the emergency response team from around the Commonwealth and here in Frankfort, Kentucky, fire department from Lexington and Jessamine County, already had a command center that was set up in what used to be the bank parking lot. Mr. Speaker, no communication, no water, no electricity. But what I saw in that town Friday night, I stayed there at about 1 a.m. And then I went back again yesterday afternoon. I went to see my good friend, the gentleman from Morgan. Spent some time with him because, you know, I grew up in a small community, Mr. Speaker, just like you. And you can imagine if you stood and saw Prestonsburg, devastated. Folks, I'm telling you, there's not a building in that town that was not impacted by the storm. The hospital shut down. And this is just one community, Mr. Speaker. This is just an example of what happened on Friday. Probably a F3 storm, 175 mile to 200 mile winds, a quarter of a mile wide, dropped off of the ridge line from the hospital that it hit, which is still shut down, down into the valley, and basically went from city limit sign to city limit sign and wiped out that entire town. Mr. Speaker, every structure in that town 
that is not crumbled and laying on the ground today will have to be taken to the ground. It is an amazing sight, something that I never thought I would see in our neck of the woods where we have the hills and the mountains. But on Sunday when I rolled into town, Mr. Speaker, you know the, the roads had been cleared back to where you could actually get through town. The National Guard would uh, let a few, a few people through to, uh, to bring food and supplies and all of that. But there was probably 75 electric company trucks in that town already taking action, putting up new electric poles, stringing line and wire to try to get the electric back on, to try to get communication back, trying to get back to where you could have internet and trying to get back to some normal life. Uh, the courthouse, wind has exploded. All three banks are down. Social services office is down. Conservation district office is gone. Representative, the gentleman from Morgan's son, was in the middle of that town. There's a little place where we've all hung out for a long time, like you have in your little town. It's a little restaurant with two or three little pool tables. Fit best fish sandwiches in, in Kentucky. Mackenzie's little restaurant there. That's where the gentleman from Morgan's son was. They were in there and actually looked through the glass door of this block building. They saw the, the storm drop over the ridge, gentlemen from Jefferson. And when it dropped over, they saw it coming and tried to push the door to get out, but they couldn't get out because of the pressure of that wind. They ended up under pool tables. And when the, hurt, when the tornado passed, the building had all crumbled in on top of them. Those young boys and the guy that owns that place, Mr. McKenzie, was underneath those pool tables, and they all got out alive. Folks, you know, we uh, take a lot of things for granted every day. We were able to get up, most of us, and have electricity and a roof over our head this morning. Most of us were able to carry on with, you know, hooking up the coffee pot and carrying on with our normal day, daily lives. I think the gentleman from Morgan, Mr. Speaker, told me that over 3,000 structures had been impacted in Morgan County. Over 3,000 structures. So as we leave here today, there's many issues that take place in this house that are serious issues that mean a difference in what takes place throughout this commonwealth. But I think in the perspective of life and the important things in life, we need to put life into perspective and not take for granted what is given to us each day. At 5.30, I spoke to the gentleman from Morgan at 6 a.m. on Friday night, that entire community is changed forever. But now let me tell you about the Cougars from Morgan County. And let me tell you about our people in those surrounding counties. And let me tell you about the people of the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. While we're saddened and while we will grieve with those families who are suffering, some who have lost family members, some who have been injured, some who have lost their small businesses on Main Street in places like West Liberty, some who don't even have a roof over their head as we speak here. Our great people of this commonwealth will bounce back. The resilience of the people of this great commonwealth should never be underestimated.